The idea of a teaching picture was really central to Rudy's work. He used to sit in his own store with pictures of his teachers, and you could tell that he would look at them all the time and draw energy from them. And so he made it a conscious effort to have pictures of himself taken for us, his students, to use in our own meditation. Barry Kaplan, a young student of Rudy's, was invited by Rudy to come and take these photographs. Over the course of a period of years, Barry documented Rudy, created teaching pictures for his students, and was able to create for all of us a record of Rudy's transformation as a teacher. These pictures are remarkable documents, not only of Rudy working, but also of the change in the physiognomy of his own head. We could see actual transformations of energy occurring in the skull of his head. These were not unusual manifestations, and Barry's photographs truly document some of the extraordinary changes that occur in Rudy. We were aware of Rudy as a working teacher, not someone who simply expressed ideas, but who was embodying them. His pictures, his images, are conduits to an energy that is not Rudy, but something greater than Rudy, deeper than Rudy, something infinite and eternal. Sitting with Rudy's picture, which is the gift of all of these pictures, allows us entry into an energy that is the core of Rudy. To be able to sit with Rudy's picture is to be able to sit with Rudy. And when Rudy left this world and left his body, we still have the pictures. And the pictures are and remain to this very moment alive with Rudy and with his energy. There is an energy that radiates from Rudy that is a gift to all of us. And it comes because of these pictures that were taken all those years ago.